Jeremy Cook here, and today I'm going to make a robotic tong drum machine with the Arduino Opta in its solid state relay module. The inspiration for this device was this tank drum that we made several years ago, but I ended up buying something a bit more compact for this project. The physical design was inspired by the Cray 2 supercomputer, which wraps around the device in a sort of flexible C shape. The main body was cut out of MDF on my laser cutter and supports were printed in stone PLA. This frame houses eight friction arms adapted to hold the drum solenoids. Screws, and as seen later, quarter 20 nuts, helped hold everything together. Well, this is a little tighter than I wanted. All right, so the drum machine is coming together. Should be able to wrap around a Hank drum or anything else like that. So, looks pretty cool so far. So I'm quite happy with this. It sounds louder than I thought it would be and has a pretty good sound to it. So yeah. So after quite a bit of programming, I've got something that actually works and got it running on external voltage or voltage supply. But one thing that's kind of cool and I've been working on it for quite a while is this um, little display here. When I press the button, it'll actually send a signal that uh, shows it what kind of pitch I'm sending. So. So that's kind of kind of kind of cool. Should be a good diagnostic thing. I've uh, spent a lot of time on that, but kind of procrastinating. I think it's just time to hook it up and see how it works. Another little pro improvement I've made is that um, I didn't want these to get sort of delaminated or whatever. So I printed these little clips out so that I could put them on here like this. And then I could put these clamps on there. I'm using my auxiliary input for the uh, Arduino Opta. So, um, but the thing is, it's not real secure like this. So what I'm gonna do is use a little hot glue on it. Glue there. Put some on the back too, just to, just to make sure it's all good. It's actually got a slot for, I2C slot for a uh, little OLED screen. So it can actually communicate over I2C to this while taking serial inputs from the MIDI adapter. I'm not sure it would pull out because I still think this isn't quite secure enough, but 
you know, seems to hold it down pretty well. All right, so we'll turn it up to 12 volts, roughly. And then this is on, so when I hit these buttons, it should, uh, the cylinder should fire. So let's see. Yeah, working perfectly, so that's awesome. So I've got eight of these camera arms that I'm using. Haven't hooked them up yet, but they look pretty good. Haven't actually uh, wired them yet. What I'm gonna try to do is get some more of these label things, these zip tie labels, really convenient. So once these get in today, I'll, I'll zip, zip them up and then I can wire them in on on my PLC, that way I'll have some nice labels and stuff and should be easy to hook up and then hopefully I can try it out. Also, I'm getting a new um, uh, tong drum, I guess. And when I get that, hopefully I can make some nice like ambient sounds with that. So really looking forward to that and hopefully it'll be a great project. I'm actually gonna take it to the uh, Orlando Maker Fair in a couple days. So hopefully I can get something working, working-ish by then. <laughs> Got it labeled nicely. Now, of course, you might think, well, you know, I'm putting a lot of time on this, but I feel like you either put the time in up front or you have to put the time in later trying to diagnose everything. And this just makes things a lot faster. Got my thing here and, oh, look at that. Awesome, it all works. Silicone gel, don't eat that, of course. All right, this just came in the mail, this tong dark drum, so, you know, I can actually have something to play on this. Well, that's kind of annoying. These, um, it actually needs to be up a little bit higher, so I've stuck three pieces of wood together, uh, some two by eights or two by sixes, I guess. I'm not sure which, but uh, made a little offset hexagon out of them and it should, should look pretty good on that. So I'm just gonna stain that and then I'll put it up there. Pre-stained view. Now I did add some uh, little bumpers on here. So this actually has a plastic thing attached to it. I left two of these, uh, it's just metal, you know, it makes a, harsher sound, but you know, kind of cool to have two of those be a kind of a contrast to the others. So even when it's running randomly, you can also press the buttons 